It is a glistering crystal orb of cultural quality, held aloft at the tip of a mighty Mancunian scepter, refracting a world of literary excellence into a hot beam focused right here onto this stage here in this historic UNESCO City of Literature. It's a life-changing amount of money for anyone. I mean, there's a small handful of people who make their living from writing short stories throughout history. Uh, so to, to get this amount of money for one short story previously unpublished is, well, it's unique. Sylvia watched him. Perspiration beaded his brow. How determined he was to be angry. He looked up at her and said, what? I started writing um, short fiction again last year. Um, had some success with flash fiction, um, was the winner of the reflex fiction competition, and that led me to enter the Manchester Fiction Prize. You hide in that cloud, I undress in this way. The distance from your hands to your shoulders raised earwards is equal in length to the meaningful stare you are so intent on denying me. I've been writing poetry, I think, since I was six years old, and um, Tonight I'm here because someone liked my poetry and it was quite, quite a rare event, but very, very honoured and excited. Parity we cannot give you, nor grant you the gift of our forgetting. O oh, land of our second landings, heaving oil of nothing, bless us with your chalked linearity, each bloodletting, as necessary as it always is. Um, I think it's really significant for me because I've always sort of submitted to this prize as almost a sort of yearly tradition, but never really expected to be shortlisted. So it's great to actually be here and sort of be in the thick of things and meet the judges. And uh, it's a great sort of surrounding uh, for this event to take place in. I encounter different yet equally compelling directedness, new oblique but intimate confidences. Our final shortlist was therefore the subject of delighted debate and passionate advocacy going back and forth with the other judges on our long list and arguing for the ones that we liked and making people see, look at this line and look at this line, look how powerful it is. But read it again. Let's read it again. Let's read the whole poem. When effectively James and I um, devised this competition, what, what we really wanted to do was extend our, our family identity in the writing school at MMU outwards. There's like New York but then here's like UK you know so it's, it's very exciting and it's, I've always heard about this city and just landed today and I'm excited just to walk around and, and be in this this area and I feel very it feels very literary. <laughs> and I think my interest is in finding new forms especially of language you know working with language in different ways. After talking each other down slowly from their respective precarious positions the doctor and the other guy a priest turned stand-up comedian, embark on an unlikely but passionate love affair that will change their lives forever. It might be wrong when I think all anyone anticipates is living, but are you all right? I crave quality fruit, ache for over-buttered popcorn. Um, it's a great honor. I didn't think I was going to be shortlisted. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's really affirming that, you know, people think that my work is strong, you know. I take my poetry very seriously and it's been really fun. I mean, I feel very, very privileged to be here as somebody actually from Manchester. Um, I'm from Burnage, so I'm just down the road. I literally got the bus here tonight. Um, I teach students in Manchester. A lot of them are aspiring writers. Do we have to pay? She asked the barman, making her eyes all big and shiny as if she doesn't understand how the whole thing works. He doesn't speak, but he doesn't ask for any money either. The first time I see a cicada shell, I think it's a corpse. And the panic tightens in my chest, tightens until Amelia grasps my hand and smiles with all her braces filled wisdom and whispers that they shed their skin to survive. I mostly work with high school students uh, that are the advanced level. I work with them to improve their writing and uh, really working with them with their writing um, kind of emboldened me to start sharing some of my own writing with the world. So that's mm -hmm. actually what brought me here today is mostly my students. But they haven't asked to learn a history of defiance or the blues dark beauty. Is this upbringing? Such an honour. Um, I was a bit flawed to be honest. I didn't quite expect it. Um, 
So I'm a little bit nervous at the moment, clearly, uh, but it's been amazing. It's really been amazing. He was waiting for me at the front of the cabin, squatting on the ground with knees about ears, carving shapes in the dirt with a stick he had found. In the coffee sour kitchen, the counter a clean slate, he tilts again. He tells me again about America's only ever mass shooting. The winner of the ten thousand pound two thousand and nineteen Manchester Fiction Prize is Tim Etchells. Uh, thank you so much. Um, that's a surprise. I think the, the blind judging thing, in terms of not knowing names or bios of people, produced such an amazingly diverse uh, list. And I'm really humbled to be part of that and, uh, in a way, a bit embarrassed to be the winner because I think there's such strong work there. The winner of the £10,000 2019 Manchester Poetry Prize is Montaza Mary. <laughs> Oh, that, that was like, yeah, that was just, it was really special because um, she's someone, as I said, I grew up reading her, but also she's this luminary, obviously as a poet laureate for like um, a decade now. And just, she's always been somebody that I thought was all, you know, I may one day sort of share a stage with, but not in this capacity. Thank you very much. I will see you next time. Thank you. <laughs> But just the knowledge that I've sort of taken away from tonight, which is the fact that it is an extended family, um, the Manchester Writing Awards, and just that's something that I feel, that's the part that I feel like hasn't sunk in yet.